Hey guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be going over Android 16 Revival and Mayhem. We're going to be talking about him, his Dokkan Awakening, how to Dokkan Awaken him, and his best linking buddies in-game. Before we start, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the notification bell to be part of the notification squad. Alright guys, so let's jump in. Revival and the Mayhem Android 16. His leader ability is Super Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. Super Tech is Hell's Flash, greatly raises defense, defense now, for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, mind and body combination, attack and defense plus 60%, plus an additional defense plus 20% per android category ally on the team, up to 80%. High chance to guard against all attacks, that is the Janemba passive. Now I know I have already gone over the android 16 and his abilities and everything when they first came out, but again, I want to just emphasize, re-emphasize that he is probably one of the best tanks in game, other than maybe Janemba, but Janemba doesn't have the huge defensive buffs. Uh, link skills are Android Assault, uh, Mechanical uh, Menaces, <laughs> Gentleman, Revival, Rival Duo, and Tough as Nails. So he has some decent, some decent link skills. Uh, again, he is more oriented towards defense um, instead of being towards attack. As you can see from his links and from everything else that he does, uh, I think the only thing that he's missing that the Janemba would have is a chance to uh, dodge, but it's really not needed considering everything he has. He's part of the Android Saga category and the Resurrected Water Warrior uh, category. So uh, you, his max stats are going to be HP of 6389, attack of 6507, and defense of 3444. Uh, now, if you are going to do dupe system on this character, because he is more defense-based, you might want to consider doing bottom right and bottom left dupe as his bottom left is more defense. Also, I always do this. Um, I always prioritize when there is an option other than crit and like additional. Whenever there's an option for key regeneration, uh, which pretty much means when your character goes and um, and they go, uh, you have an option to use your the key, the key that you gain of the same attribute type that your character is. It will help regenerate your health. Uh, in the dupe system, there's it's like it's like a little ball over a head, I believe it is, and if you choose that, it will increase the amount of health that's recovered when you gain the same t key type balls. So I would recommend doing that. I always do it anyway, um, but there is the option sometimes when you're choosing some of the uh, do paths uh, to, make, to make those choices. But that's what I would re definitely do uh, because he would be able to heal so much because of that, especially if you get him 100% of the dupe system with that ridiculous defense. Plus 84, uh, 84 44 for, um, for max potential dupe system. With all the defense, uh, defensive buffs that he gets, he's going to be insane. His stall key multiplier is a lowly 130%. Um, greatly raises defense for one term. It's a 50% boost that is calculated separately from his passive, which means his defense goes up 140% without support on rotation. Uh, for a total defense of 260% after performing a super attack. That's insane. High chance to guard against all attacks is a 50% chance to receive attacks with type advantage. Um, and you can farm him... Uh, with this guy over here, this SR Intelligence Android 16, which is available from the General Destroyer event, which we're also going to be talking about in a minute, because uh, in order to Dokkan Awaken him, you need 21 of the Android 17 medals, and you need 21 of the Android 16 medals, which is going to be available from the event. Um, so this is the Android 16 medals, it's the Warrior Mark. Uh, you're going to go in here, it's for the Gentle Destroyer, which we were just talking about. Pretty much just go in here, it's going to be level 2, Earth Shaking Power. Uh, in order to do that, it's going. you're going to want to go and um, run this event a couple of times. Let's see, uh, clear the stage without using a continue. No Dragonstones for one Dragonstone. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and do that and destroy it as best as you can. And once you get enough of them, I think you need what? You need uh, seven of them. So run the event. And when you, I think you drop two at a time. Run the event four times and you can de finally Doken Awaken. Um, same thing with the Android 17 event, pretty self-explanatory, he is here. Um, it is the Guardian of Dreams and Beliefs. So, go there and run that three times on the Super 2 in order to get him. Uh, then he finally Dokken Awakens into a new body and preparedness, Android number 16. His leader ability is Super Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. He's actually a really, really good leader if you don't have any uh, Tech Type leaders or Super Tech Type leaders. That HP Attack and Defense plus 90% will get you through, I would probably say... Um, all of the 70% leads for sure, and you could probably get through a few of the 120 leads. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to be able to get through any of the category leaders. You may be able to get through one or two of them uh, with that buff, but uh, just remember you might be a little bit short on key. I mean, obviously it's only one key, but sometimes one key actually matters a lot. So you might be bringing an item like the Fruit of the Tree and Might or the King in order to get your super attacks off. But 
if you're running a monotech team and you can find a friend like super saiyan 3 uh, goku or a super saiyan 3 angel goku you should be fine uh super attack hell's flash greatly raises defense for one turn causes supreme damage to the enemy um passive skill and mobility of the spirit attacking defense plus 80 percent now plus an additional <coughs> defense 30 percent per android category ally on the team up to 90 percent so you only need three androids on the team i believe he counts as one so yeah because he is one so you only need two other androids on the team uh from my understanding and he still has that high chance to guard against all attacks so i mean if you just have a couple of them i mean all you need is him and one link buddy and he's already at 60 percent defense buff on top of his passive of 80 percent of the defense buff and when he launches a super attack he gets another one so honestly you're probably not maybe not all the time depending on who's on rotation but you're probably going to want to have him right in the middle because he's not going to have a great defense buff um if someone's attacking uh before him in the first slot uh, link skills, he gets Fierce Battle, which is awesome. He definitely needed a nice attack buff. Uh, same category system. Max uh, max, uh, max base system is going to be HP of 9089, attack of 7947, and defense of 4794, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Greatly raises defense is still a 50% buff, uh, which separate from his passive skill, which goes up to 170%, which means a total defense buff of 305% after performing a super attack. That's insane. And that doesn't consider that doesn't take into consideration the uh, buffs you get from your leaders so just think about that i mean if you're running uh what is it uh the android 21 lead a double a double 150 lead that's already getting you're already getting a 300 uh, defensive buff and then you're getting another 300 on top of that and that 300 that you're getting here is factored in after the 300 that's already factored in it's insane he's just like, literally he can't be harmed he's awesome and then if his guard if his uh guard against all attacks goes off it's it's insane he's never doing anything you're never hurting him uh, Android 16 has to be probably one of my favorite new characters. Uh, his mechanic to literally, like, tank everything in-game is phenomenal. Uh, I, I think that Dokkan is actually doing something good by not just giving us full powerhouses all the time. Uh, I would like him to hit a little bit harder, but, I mean, honestly, an 80% supreme damage for someone who is supposed to be doing nothing but guarding, um, or blocking, uh, trucking, or uh, tanking hits, it, it, he's perfect. I mean, it's really awesome. I really, I really like this character, um... Honestly, obviously, I would like to get him and one of the, either 17 or 21 or both, preferably, because they're all really good units and they're staple for the Android team. But um, maybe when it comes to global, we'll see what happens if I actually summon on this banner. This might be one of the banners I summon on, because those niche categories, if you have all the cards, they're the best hitting categories in the game. And I don't, I'm not going to really go too deep into it. Pretty much the niche category just means you need to have specific cards in order for it to work. That's why they give you 170%. Anyway, now in, in terms of linking buddies, let's go over here now. Um, actually, I should probably scroll down a little bit. So best linking buddy in game is the Tech Paikuhan. So that's awesome. That's all right there. Um, he has four link skills with him total, which is Gentleman, Accurate Assist, which I think it's a rival duo, uh, warrior, Toughness Warrior, and Super Fierce Battle. So he has Fierce Battle, obviously, and all the guys who link well with him have Fierce Battle, obviously. Give him the extra link skill. Uh, but he will be linking, what is this again? So 10% attack buff, 15%, so 25% attack buff. Uh, defense 1500 up. They nearly need to change the, the defensive uh, increases to percentages like they did with the attacks before. Uh, and he gets two key. So obviously, um, him with PyCon is probably one of the best people he can he can actually link with in-game. Uh, unfortunately, well, it's not really unfortunate because they are both super tech type. It's just that PyCon is so, like, old a key plus three attack plus seven thousand and defense plus three thousand when facing one enemy that's so outdated that's like gen one type stuff you know what i mean like first meta or even round before first meta he's not doing a lot of damage i mean he's cool and everything he's self-sufficient but he's not going to be uh, out damaging anyone and he's i i don't even see him reaching over five hundred thousand myself um next good one that he links with that he can run on a monotech team with is going to be the, the tapion which actually isn't bad he's a pretty good unit um attack and defense plus 80 percent up medium probability of triggering something um to change believe the brave to change the power balloon to rainbow that's awesome so yeah he's a key art manipulator and he's just an awesome unit um outside of that uh units that are also he links with uh let's see let's see tapion he links for uh rival duo it, it is rival duo right uh rival duo yeah it is rival duo so he has rival duo with him he has resurrection for two key and fierce battle topo it's rival duo uh toughness warrior and uh, fierce battle, a Raleigh fierce battle, uh, me a mechanical system for key plus one, so the three key, 15% attack buff. The other Tapion is uh, two key and 25% attack buff, defense of the enemy minus 15%. And the category lead, Android 17, for uh, three link skills, 
with artificial human accuracy. So defense plus 1,000, attack plus 10%. Enemy defense minus 15% and attack plus 15% for fierce battle. So they're doing some decent damage. Uh, nothing crazy. The Android categories, uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of attack buffs here. So that's something that we're going to have to get used to in a category. They're definitely all meant for tanking. I'm not saying that they're not going to be do doing a lot of damage. But like I said, it's a niche system. You need to make sure you have the right units. But when you do have the right units in there, you will be tanking and you will be doing a lot of damage overall. I think they're probably still one of the best units in uh, one of the best categories in game. Um, in terms of monotech, we already talked about uh, Pycon and uh, Tapion, but after that, there's really no one else on the team that he links very well with. As you see over here, everyone here, he links with two uh, link skills, and mostly it's always because of Fierce Battle, almost always because of Fierce Battle. So obviously Frieza, he has Fierce Battle, Resurrection, Revive Warrior, uh, Mechanical System, Resurrection for Arale, Streaky, but you're ever running the tech one anyway. Um, Resurrection and Fierce Battle for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. He's the leader, so that actually kind of works out. Um, but it's only two key and 15% attack buff. Obviously, you're going to want to run someone else with the Goku if you have them. Um, Android 13, which you're probably never going to run them because they are both... Um, uh, well, that one's uh, extreme lead and... Well, not one's an extreme card. The other's a super card. But they do share two links anyway if you do a monotech team. Artificial Human and Toughness Warrior. So they're both... Uh, that's a th that's defense up by 2,500. Which, that, again, needs to change. And then Cell, who is also part of the Android category, but he only links with two link skills for Resurrection and Fierce Battle. Cell, when you, when you, if you have him easy 8 is definitely really awesome, but outside of that, I mean, he really doesn't link that well with anyone. Um, in terms of Resurrected Warrior, let me actually do that really quick, because I forgot to uh, pull the links for that. So for this, uh, the, the Tapions are still here, so obviously. The Cells are still here, so that's, that's kind of normal as well. Um, the, everyone is pretty much going to share the Revival link. Uh, let's see, so Cell over here, Resurrection, yep, Fierce Battle, Resurrection, Fierce Battle, and Resurrection, Fierce Battle. Frieza, obviously, is the Golden Angel Frieza, Resurrection, Fierce Battle. The other Golden Friezes um, all have Resurrection and Fierce Battle as well because they were all brought back from the dead. Uh, and then the Super Saiyan 3 Goku should be the same thing, Resurrection, Fierce Battle, and Resurrection, Fierce Battle. So honestly, on this team, uh, he at least will always have two key and Fierce Battle with most of the units there, which is pretty damn awesome because at least he's getting the 15% attack buff and two key, which makes it easier for them to get a super attacks off. But at the same time, nothing else is really getting hit off. And also, one more thing to add to that is it's not like it really matters for Android 16, because he's really just meant there to tank, and he does a really damn good job on it by himself without needing the support of anyone else. Uh, in terms of an Android team, um, we already talked about Android 17 as one of his best, so honestly, on this team, Android 17 is his best linking buddy. Uh, and honestly, it's not a bad thing. You kind of want them two to be together. You want this Android 16 on your primary rotation, just because it means one free turn without, well, one free attack uh, area without any damage coming, or very minute damage coming in. Um, unless it's like a super attack, but even then, it's so mitigated, it's almost like, it's negligible, it's ne you never have to worry about it. Um, let's see, Artificial Human, um, Accurate Assist, and Fierce Battle, we already talked about all that. Plus, it kind of contributes to the Android 21's passive skill, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, I, th I don't know if the, if the English translation here is going to be really good. Um... I th it's something to do with like uh, actually you know what let's go over to the wiki really quick i'll bring it up because android 21 i know her passive skill is like chance to transform on hp 50 percent or above uh transform when conditions are met where are her transformation 30 percent chance to each cell and transform when hp 50 percent or above there you go starting from the fourth turn so that android 16 makes it a lot easier for her to do something like that um especially well they only share two link skills which kind of sucks it's 15 percent and a thousand but again i mean it's not that much better uh the only reason why i like this android 17 being here with him is because he gives him the, the only other attack buff for 10 percent. so you kind of want them two to be together outside of that um pretty much everyone else here all the android 17s as you see android 17 uh artificial human so yeah i think they're all the defensive buff for with uh a android for a thousand defense yeah they all are even Super 17. Uh, we already talked about all three of the cells. Same thing as Android 17 with the Android 18. And then you have these Android 13s for that and Toughness Warrior or Tough as Nails. So those are defensive buffs. Well, these two you're probably never going to run anyway. Um, but outside of that, yeah, uh, for this, you're probably only going to really want to run Android 17 along with him. Um, and he's definitely going to help benefit Android 21 if, she's go if you want her to transform, if you want that transform mechanic. Uh, plus, also another good card to have always have on the team, obviously, is Cell. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That, that's uh, for that's all the linking that's going on with this guy. I mean, again, he is a very, very self-reliant character. Let's go back over here to my Chrome record. There we go. So, um, oh yeah, I should have brought that like that, so that way you guys could see her. 
But um, yeah, uh, honestly, let's see. I mean, again, just to go over real quick, Gentleman is too key. Uh, Android Assault is only a thousand defense, which is kind of whack. I mean, just for the flat out buff, Toughest Nails was kind of whack. So honestly, um, Gentleman, almost no one has. So these three are kind of throwaway links. Mechanical Menaces on an Android team, yeah. Revival is good. Rival Duo is hit or miss and fierce battle. So honestly, uh, on the team, he's, he may have some people link with key with uh, mechanical menaces. Uh, tough as nails. These are pretty much all throwaway links. Revival is good. Uh, Rival Duo is definitely very low on the scale, but at least it's a ten percent attack buff. So honestly, these three right here are probably going to be one of the link skills you really want to focus on. Just because 15% uh, attack buff, 10% attack buff, uh, I mean, yes, the enemy's defense is minus 15%, which is also good. And revival for two key. Um, if you can meet other conditions of, like, mechanical menaces, that would be great. But in terms of, like I said, my best, the best linking buddies for him in-game, um, especially for the Android team, it's really just going to be this Android 17 over here. You're definitely going to want to run some type of support at that point. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. I will be doing the Android 21 event. Um... Just to be a little bit clear on the Android 21 over here, she does have a unit that feeds, well not feeds into her, that is a really good support unit. Um, let's go over here really quick, just so I can talk about it in this video. Um, her, she is a really good support unit, this one actually, the intelligence one. Uh, Android category allies, key plus one, attack and defense plus 20%. And when you Doken Waken her, she does have a different name, which I will be mentioning in the next video. She does Android categories allies, uh, Android category allies, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. So her untransformed and her transformed form are really, really good for support. So um, because of the lack of uh, key link sometimes on these units, you're definitely going to want to have her there uh, to help out with that. But um, I will again, we'll be talking about that in another video. But guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you down in the comments below. You all have a good one now.